Welcome to Smash University. If you've been enjoying the content, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell. When someone decides which character they're going to main, it's a lot different when their job depends on it. They are going to pick a character they think is strong and consistent in a tournament environment and fits their playstyle. Some players opt to be a character specialist and have a pocket character for their main's bad matchups. Other players are confident in their ability to play multiple characters and switch in between them throughout a tournament depending on the matchup they play. Another thing to note is the game is constantly changing with patches and new characters being added to the game, so players will opt to change their character lineup depending on these changes. The safe thing to do is pick a character that the community thinks is strong, but top level players will play characters that they feel are strong and are worth committing to. There are players that have top level fundamentals and can pick up multiple characters extremely fast. MKLeo, Tweak, and Zachary are the best examples of this. They can pick up a character and within weeks be the best with said character while pushing the character's meta at the same time. With players like this, different characters limits are pushed extremely fast. These players do this so often that they'll change the general opinion of the entire community just through their gameplay. They are able to showcase the reason why they felt the character was worth committing to. At the very start of Ultimate's metagame, Leo was able to win many tournaments with his Ike and Lucina. Leo didn't even think Ike was top tier, but he had most of the community thinking Ike was broken just because of how good he was with the character. Leo would also get the best results with Lucina, even though that wasn't the only character he played in tournament. This was no surprise because Leo was known for being the best player with Swordfighters in the previous Smash game. When Joker came out, Leo thought the character was broken, but most of the community thought the character wasn't even top tier. Even though most of the community didn't think the same thing as Leo, he stuck with the character. Leo's placement did suffer for one tournament in Japan, but after that, he started his dominating streak of tournament wins. He was able to achieve rank 1 in both seasons of the PGRU and also got most of the community believing that Joker is indeed top tier. Leo has shifted the characters he plays during the Wi-Fi era, seeing a lot of Byleth, Pyra, and Mithra when Leo competes. This makes a lot of sense knowing that both of these characters are different types of sword fighters which Leo favors. Byleth is another character that the community thought wasn't very strong on release but we'll see if Leo can shift that opinion once again. Another player notorious for pushing character metagames is Tweak. Winning multiple tournaments with different characters, Tweak pushed the ultimate metagame for so many different characters. Being the highest ranked Wario, Young Link, and Roy for the first PGRU, many didn't know what character he would push next. In the next season of the PGRU, Tweak turned the community upside down when he won a major tournament with Pokemon Trainer a character that got higher level results but usually fell short when looking at top 8 results at tournaments. Tweak was able to show the community the potential of Pokemon Trainer and is now commonly thought of as a top tier character. Tweak has now turned his attention to Diddy Kong after some buffs. He has leveled up his Diddy during the Wi-Fi era and thinks very highly of the character. With Tweak playing Diddy we are seeing the character's meta develop at a very fast rate, and Tweak has the community thinking that Diddy is a strong contender in this new meta. Tweak has also found a DLC character that he enjoys playing and thinks is very strong being Sephiroth. Finding new tech and how to apply it, Tweak Sephiroth is looking like a very strong tournament threat when we return to offline events. Japan's best player, Zachary, is known for his huge character pool and his ability to counterpick any matchup. Zachary has the largest character pool used in tournament from the last PGRU. He was first known for his wolf that got top 8 at Genesis 6 when a lot of the community didn't think Wolf was a strong top tier character. After his results, Wolf has been known for being one of the most consistent top tier threats and is one of the most popular top tier picks alongside Politana. Even though Rob had solid results, it was hard to find Rob placing in the top 8 of a major tournament until Zachary started bringing him out and even won Big House 2019 with Rob alongside his other characters. Last seen playing Wario and Joker, it'll be very interesting to see what lineup Zachary will end up using considering the nerfs to Wario and the new DLC options available. Smash Ultimate has such a huge character roster and the meta is so underdeveloped. There's so many characters that have so much potential and are underexplored. Don't be afraid to have faith in a character and try to push their metagame. There's so much we don't know about this game. Let's learn and push Ultimate's meta as far as possible, because that's what competition is all about. 
If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell. Class dismissed.